Ladies, gentlemen, non-binary and gender fluid individuals, cyborgs, androids, interdimensional elder Taurus, and twelve drummers drumming, eleven pipers piping, ten lords are leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five gold rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and five people in fair tree. Welcome to Crushing Deep. I am the king of procrastination. So, in my last video on updating my game, The Maltese Automaton, I mentioned how the performance of the game's first level was really shockingly bad and I needed to do something about it. The trouble is, I don't know what to do about it. As I've mentioned before, I come from a background of 3D artistry, not game development, so I haven't the faintest idea how to optimise a game. I only know that I've run games more complex than what I've built thus far, so it must be possible. Rather than throw myself into research, I did one quick Google search, didn't fully understand what it told me, and then did what any fellow procrastinator would do. I made a hastily put together low quality fan animation in celebration of Doctor Who's 60th anniversary. Then I did nothing at all the following week telling myself that was fine because I'd committed to uploading once every two weeks, even though this felt like a cop-out because my last upload was nothing to do with the game development. This week I finally went back to the game, but still daunted by the prospect of fixing the very low frame rate without gutting the content of the level, I went back to my first NPC, determined to address some of the things that I was previously unhappy with. I fixed the issue with the dress not looking like the right material, I added the necklace I wanted, I adjusted her face quite a lot, tried to add more pro pronounced freckles, didn't like the result, went back to the old face and then merged the textures of the old face and the new to get something I was happy with. Then I noticed her dress wasn't simulating correctly so I spent a while weight painting the skirt and then I turned to trying to fix her hair so it behaved more naturally. I'm still having issues with the dress clipping through her body occasionally, and her hair is still not right when it's in braids, but Il's supporting bra is much closer to how I wanted her now than she was when I last showed her off, and I have even started working on some alternative hairstyles and outfits for other parts of the game. I don't know about you, but I think she looks a little like Zoe Deschanel. I won't be uploading again in 2023. I'm going to be far too busy between now and New Year's, so I'll speak to you again in 2024. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed in the last few months and for sticking with me on this journey. I only hope I can make a finished product worthy of your patience.